Uh, here we make a, a list of the tech players, as uh, Manolo said before, it's about uh, 50, 60 people, 60 players, and of course we cannot uh, select all of them, so we are going to, we are going to with uh, more or less 40 players. And um, then we communicate, of course, the list to the, to the regional uh, federation, and uh, then uh, we make a national list that is published, uh, what is published in, the, in our web tool. And of course, we send uh, personal letters to the, to the families. Then, uh, to make the composition, then uh, you, you, you will uh, see a, a very short video where you can, you can see the players uh, practicing there. Uh, we work in uh, four courts, four courts, sorry. Uh, four for boys, four for girls, and uh, there are the same number of players, boys and girls, the same number of coaches, uh, girls and boys. Uh, there, there are two uh, different teams working together in the same place with the same goal, and making more or less the same. As the, I told, uh, uh, as I told you, told you before, I yesterday, uh, I told you the difference between girls and boys. And you can now uh, at the left you can see the, the, the official uh, Spanish list that we publish in the in the in, the, in our web. Uh, you, you can you can make the official the official feature that uh, we we take every year. And uh, at, uh, above the, the picture you can see the, the schedule is a very very uh, complicated schedule. Uh, Jose did it. And uh, we try to coordinate all the activities, as the doctor, uh, the physician activities, the physiotherapy, physiotherapy activities, uh, physical activities, leisure activities, of course, practicing activities, and um, we don't stop during nine days. It's a really hard to work. It's really tired, but uh, we have to say that it's very. Very, um, I feel grateful, grateful for, for us uh, how they uh, hope to see how they grow up in nine days. In nine days, uh, we understand them before. That is uh, our goal to, to know them better. Um, next slide. Okay, now you, you can see the, the video, and Manolo is going to explain to you the CSI work in this age. En esta primera concentración es donde nosotros obtenemos la primera información nuestra y de todo el, de todo el equipo de trabajo de, de programa de detención. Eh, perdón. Donde elaboramos su primer pequeño informe. Porque estamos hablando de niños de, de 12 años. Donde valoramos eh, más que a temas técnicos, eh, aptitudes, eh, de cómo se comportan, cómo, cómo, se, cómo están en, en una concentración ya de 5 o 6 días en un sitio allá arriba perdido. Y lo que sí tomamos nota un poquito en rojo es de lo que saben hacer, no de lo que pueden hacer ni de lo que han hecho, sino lo que saben hacer para ir comprobando a medida que vaya avanzando el tiempo si siguen, eh, siguen teniendo una evolución correcta. Pero es, es eh, nuestra primera información de, directa de, de, de los jugadores. For us, it's very important that uh, you understand that, of course, we make mistakes. We can choose uh, a wrong uh, player for the program, but it's there where we can analyze and know him or her 
and decide that uh, he or she has to come back or not to the program. Uh, of course, it's very different to, to track them, to watch them, just playing one game and uh, get the information from the staff that works with him or her. But then, in the reality, in the, day, in, in the daily work, uh, inside and outside the, the courts, is when and where we decide if uh, he or she has the, the time to be in, the, in our program. And at, no, no, and at this moment, we, we pass through the, the next step, the under 15 level. Um, uh, it starts in the next summer. So uh, I have to say this is the, more, uh, the most difficult age to follow for us, to track. Why? Um, you have to, to know that uh, in Spain, how I told you before, there, there are different uh, federations and different rules for the different ages. So we can find uh, one uh, community, one region like as, uh, Madrid, that they have uh, uh, they have the under 13 and under 14 age separate, divide, uh, in Catalonia where I come from too. But we can find some regions that they don't have uh, the under 13 age as a competition. So they only have under 14. What I explain it to you, because under 13 age is the most difficult because sometimes we are not, uh, uh, we don't have the conscious that one player uh, under 13 is playing in under 14, and um, under 13 doesn't have any uh, championship uh, in our in our country. There are, and they, they don't have any uh, regional championship. So it's more difficult for us to follow them. Okay. So, one year after, we have been spoken to all the clubs, schools, uh, head coach uh, from the regional uh, federations, and we decide to make a list of 14 people. This year, uh, as uh, Betty uh, explained yesterday, you have to know too that uh, we don't go every year to the same place. We like to promote our program around our, uh, our country. So we travel every year to different places. Uh, Santa Maria del Pille is the only place we go every year since the last 23 years, if I um, don't make a mistake. 23, more or less? 20 years, more or less. Uh, the rest of the concentrations we used to make it in different places. This year we <coughs> had uh, the luck to be in Palma de Mallorca, in the Balear Islands, in a, in a really nice place, boys and girls together. In the other and the 15 uh, level we work together. Separate courts, separate schedules, but we work together. We uh, have the, the meals together. We have uh, some, some activities together as tri basket or laser time. We, we understand that it's very important to educate them in the right uh, way to make them understand that uh, they are equal. Um, here, of course, we make a list of the good players. We, we make the national list uh, to, to, uh, where we select the players. Um, we monitor, uh, we track the, the players already now, and we can incorporate some new player 